You know I like my chicken fried Cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And a radio Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? I was reading a book over the weekend, and it was a book on Bruce Lee. And there was actually a lot of great stuff in there that you could very easily apply to a bunch of different things. But I took a lot of things out of that, and I applied them pretty easily to baseball. Now, there was a bunch of good quotes, and I'll probably go over a few of them every now and then. But one that I want to talk about today, because it kind of came up at a hitting, hitting lesson that I was doing, was... Bruce Lee said to his students, he wanted them to be self-aware rather than a repetitious robot. And you see this a lot in baseball, and I've gone through it as a player, and I've seen other players go through it. A lot of times when a player, especially when they're a little bit younger, they're not aware of what they're doing. So they might have a hitting coach or a pitching coach or or a defensive coach, and they tell them to do certain things, and they just do it. And the problem with this is your hitting coach isn't always going to be there for you or your pitching coach, your defensive coach isn't always going to be able to be there with you. A lot of times as you get older, they may leave, they may move, they may whatever it might be, but you might not always have them. So what I talk about a lot of times with players is when I talk to hitters, I say you want to be your own hitting coach or when I talk to a pitcher, I say you want to be your own pitching coach. And what I mean by that is My goal as a player is to understand what I need to do, hitting, fielding, throwing, gather all the information that I have over the years from a bunch of different great coaches that I've had, and now I'm able to teach myself. So if I'm playing in the middle of a season and I start to struggle, I don't have to go searching for that hitting coach I had five years ago. I can understand what I'm doing and what I need to do to get back to doing well. And I talk to a lot of players about this. When they're young, I tell them, you know, learn all you can now, but the main goal is to understand how you can take this stuff and apply it when either I'm not around or your coach isn't around anymore. Because, like I said, your coach isn't always going to be there with you for the rest of your life. So there's a few things that we have to do as players. The first thing when you're when you're learning anything is you have to understand what you're actually doing. And This comes with videotape. You'd be really surprised if you haven't watched yourself on tape. A lot of times you'll look at it and say, well, that doesn't even look like me because I say it all the time to players, feel isn't always real. So what you're feeling isn't always what's really happening. And it's really crazy if you look at it. You might look at it and do something totally different than what you thought. And that's why I always videotape players so they can actually see themselves and understand what they're doing and then what I'm trying to get them to do. The second thing you got to do is you have to understand why you're doing something. So just because a coach tells you to do this or do that, you shouldn't just do it and that's it. But ask questions. Ask why he wants you to do that. So that, like Bruce Lee said, you're not just a repetitious robot. You're not just going through something just because someone told you to, but you're actually understanding it so you can process it and learn from it. I think if you can learn how to do this, it's going to help you in the long run. And baseball is a game of ups and downs, and we're always trying to stay in the middle. And I think if you understand what you're doing, whether it's pitching, hitting, whatever it might be, well, those slumps aren't going to be as long because you'll understand yourself, your swing or your pitching mechanics, and you'll be able to correct and get out of that slump a little bit quicker than a guy that has no idea what he's doing would be able to. I'll tell you one quick story. Um, about me. When I was drafted and I, I went to the minor leagues, first my first full season, I, I played very well. And, um, you know, when I hit, I never really thought about hitting very much. I just kind of hit. I had no idea what I was doing. I really hadn't watched very much videotape in my, in my entire life. And then I got to AAA in my second season and I got into a little funk. And sometimes when you play that many games, you don't even realize it, but you start to do things a little bit differently without knowing it. And I got to a point where I got into a really bad slump, but because I had no idea what I did when I was successful, it was very hard for me to get back to that. I had no idea what to do. And it took me a long time. I had to go back and learn how to watch videotape and understand what I was doing that was making me successful so that I could get back to that. And because I didn't know, 
I went into a slump for a very long time. I had a full season where I really struggled. And it took me that off season to sit down with somebody, break down my film, understand what I was doing to get back to swinging the way I did the year before. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. If I had known my swing, if I had understood what I was trying to do, if I had asked more questions, I think I would have not been in that slump that long and I could have corrected it and said, hey, I'm doing this, this, this wrong. I never did that before. I got to get back to doing the things that I need to do to be successful. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, Let me know what you think and um, hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you later.